Hi guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions. This is Epsilon, and for the fifth time I am trying to film this episode. I don't know if you can hear it my voice, I, it still sounds a little bit scratchy to me. Because I've been sick, I'm coughing and hacking. I mentioned it in my last video, and I got worse from there. And I tried to film over that time, but it was just like, no. Because I'd be like, and then... <laughs> Cough, cough, cough. Yeah, it was awful. So, I've done this battle a few times. And so, <laughs> I know now what kind of team to bring, which is good. It's going to save you some time. Because, <laughs> to be honest, I lost the first two times that I tried this battle. So, I was just like, ah, it'll be fine. No. No, it wasn't. So, specifically, so you know, I have switched... Mustadio back to a chemist so that he can throw healing items because we're gonna need to do that. You're both here. There he is. Chemist so he can throw healing items. Uh, and we will be taking uh, words. Wow. Be not Beowulf. Orlando with us. So we're taking Ramza because we have to take Ramza. Uh, we're not Beowulf. I already said that. We're taking Orlando with us. And then we're gonna take Mustadio for healing. I'd been wanting to take uh, Meligual, because some sometimes named characters will have lines during a battle with, like, people that they, like, have story with, but Meligual had no lines in this battle, which is what I'd been hoping for, so I kept bringing her, but she doesn't, so. Never mind. <laughs> she's come all this way, but she's, she needs to stay behind. Anyways, story commences now. I do not understand. Why does Virgo not awaken? The spirit of the High Seraph lingers in this place, I'm sure. What could be amiss? Mayhap, you are not the vessel of Saint Ajora after all. No. No, it cannot be that. Virgo stirred at your presence. Y you must be the one. They have come. It is over, Falmarv. You will not rouse Virgo. End this. Release my sister. Of course. It is but a matter of blood. You see, do you not? She wants for blood. The angel of blood must slake her thirst ere she rise again. The land has drunk deep of blood in the Chiliads since Saint Ajora's death, yet still she covets more. So be it. Once more to a world of light, there to steep the earth in blood's sweet rain. <laughs> Worry not. You will not live to see the storm. Angel of blood, in all things you I serve. No wine more deep, no searing coal more hot than this. The crimson blood for you I spill. Objective. Kill Hashmal, bringer of order. Hashmal has a really awesome attack that hits a gigantic area and does around, I want to say, 198 damage to everybody. He also does that, 100% effective, so that's that's fun, that's cool. That's mostly what gets me in this battle. Hashmal can stop my people, and I completely forgot to put on equipment to prevent that from happening. So that's my fault. That's my bad. Hopefully, a 0% chance. Is it because I have a 0% chance to hit you, or because you're immune to being disabled? No, no, I can shoot you from here. Okay, so you can't be, be disabled. Can you be immobilized? You can be immobilized. Good. Good. That means that that is giving me a, like, flat range to Hashmal so that I can get away from him. <laughs> I will be able to escape him. 
There's only so far he can reach. Uh, throw an X potion at. Mm, yeah, wrong side. And then move away, Mustadio. I need you to not be hit by that again, please. That would be great. Just, just move right away. Get right out of there. Slow. You're gonna slow them. <laughs> I guess for um. Uh, Orlando, he's not slowed, he just ended up not being hasted anymore. Uh, can we move somewhere nice? I actually want to get... No. I want to get right next to him. Because I want to use Divine Ruination, as it is the strongest attack Orlando has. So, the first time I got this battle, we got really, really close to killing Hashmal. Because I brought Meligual, as you may have guessed, and she was doing, uh, her fun crazy attacks and was doing tons of damage and we ended up doing around like a thousand two hundred damage to him which I think is close to his HP but then he melted down on us Alma I'm coming wake cast off this sleep she will not wake into your vile speech what have you done to her her will intact our plans would come to naught when next she wakes her sacred task made clear Unto this world, our brethren, must she call. I feel Ramza does not agree. <laughs> no, she, she does not have a sacred task to be doing. If I move to, to the right, which I can do. Oh, no, but then Ar Orlando would be right between everybody. Hmm... I think that ends up putting the studio in range of being hit with meltdown, though. Just something I want to avoid. It's why I mobilized him. Uh, let's come down here and just shoot Hasramal in the face. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Glad you're so willing to play along. Yup. Oh god, he's not going to be mobilized. That attack is just way too effing big. Although, apparently he hit himself with it too. So that's cool. No! No! Mustachio! Oh, okay. Well, we've got to end this battle pretty quickly then. Got two turns. That's rude. Uh, move... I think just over one is enough. Right there. Hit him. Hit him with all you got. Mmm, yeah. Is he hasted? Why is he moving suddenly so much? Oh, Orlando's hasted now. Um. I did Divine Renation. Does Hallowed Bolt actually end up doing more damage? 425, it does. That is weird to me. Well, we'll uh, let's see what else we have. 442. So that's pretty good. Shadow Blade. 357. It does absorb HP, though, so I need to keep that in mind. Cleansing Strike. 408. I think we're going to go with Crush Armor. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the strongest one. 442. You could crit. <laughs> I like how it made the sound of breaking his armor, even though that that's not what happened. Not even what could happen. No, not up there. Why on earth, game, would you think I want to shoot something up there? Why is that even a choice? It's not like it's a bridge or something people go over. It's like the top of a mast. I think the only way you could get up there is if you had fly or teleport. <laughs> yeah, Orlando's like, uh, no. S excuse me. I excuse me. Crush armor. No. You, no. There we go, we got him. It's because Millidual couldn't do quite as much damage as Orlando could. <laughs> quite as much. My lord, um, my lord and master, still you do not wake. Where am I? Alma! 
Ramza, is it truly you? Too far we've come to taste now of defeat. Angel of blood, that you should rise. My life I gladly give. I am come once more. Alma, no! The battle is won! How nice! We're not done yet, though. Why are you even giving me money? Ragnarok! Oh, good. Got a nice sword. Got a nice sword. Yes. Yes, we would. Right here. And then we're gonna keep going, actually. Um, we're gonna switch Ramsa. Where you go? Menu. Job. Back to his squire class. For reasons. Ah, it knew exactly what I wanted, and put him with Ragnarok. Thank you, game. Uh, let's look for something that is going to prevent... Slowed and stopped. Stopped. Stoned. Yep, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna bring Ramza, obviously. Uh, I need to set his abilities, because Metal has been his second ability for so long... ...that he needs a different one. I don't even know. I guess items. He can heal himself if he desperately needs to. And that's really all we're gonna do. We're gonna... we're just gonna head straight into battle. You do it. That's right. This part's gonna be a two battle or two battle. Yeah, a video's gonna be a two battler to make up for being like incredibly sick <laughs> the past like what? I've been sick since Tuesday. Marwan was already recorded, so no, no, I've been sick since like last Sunday. Yeah, for almost a week. It's great. Uh, we are bringing Mr. Stadio because we're gonna need a healer. Uh, we're gonna bring Orlando, because we're gonna need a heavy hitter. We're gonna bring Agrius, because she's my sweet dear Agrius, and I love her very much. And then we're gonna bring, uh, one of our normal, our, our, my, people. One of our people who aren't named characters. So, who are we gonna bring? Uh, and th for those of you who aren't picking up, this is the last battle of the story. I'll get into what else there's left after this, but we are. We, this is the this is the finale. Saint Ajora, here we come. Um, I don't want to show favoritism to one person. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people. Fantastic. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I have in my hand, not that you can see it, uh, a D8, which is a type of dice for those of you who play tabletop RPGs, uh, which of course has a number from 1 to 8 on it, and I'm going to roll this, and the number that is rolled is the person we're going to bring. Numbered, of course, in the number I called out the numbers I was counting them. Really easy. So, let's do this. Let's see who gets to come with us. Random chance is going to determine our last group member. One. It was one. Which means Mirren, if I do recall. <gasps> yep, Mirren. Mirren gets to come. Let's go. And this is our party for the final story battle of the game. Just do it. Let's get straight to it. Airship Graveyard. What is this? What happens to me? Ugh. Ramza, please help me. Alma! Ramza. No, you cannot. 
You must not know! Alma! Are you alright? I... I will be. But... Ajuri, you must kill her, quickly! To... What? My... Coming? You would... Dare I say? No! It shall not be. Loyal minions, heed my call to me! I suffer spite from neither lord nor serf! Your defiance reaps you not but death's embrace! Objective. Defeat Ultima, the High Seraph. Just look at everybody, one by one, starts moving. I love that. I love that. Anyways, speaking of loving that, let's just get right on to slaying... Slaying the people. So we play, uh, Crush Armor, since we just determined apparently that is the strongest deck we have. And, oh, no, they're not in line. They're in 12. I can take him out. I'll take him out. Because these guys have huge attack ranges, and I don't want them actually using them on us. Uh, we will find out if we can do anything to Ultima. I don't think she can be immobilized. Maybe. I definitely don't think that she can be disabled. <laughs> Leg shot. Cannot be immobilized. Arm shot. CAN BE DISABLED! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! WE DISABLED ULTIMA! <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. What are you gonna do? You gotta run. You gotta run. That is... You're gonna teleport away by laughing. It's a thing that you just did. Congrats. Congrats. Okay. Divine Ruination. How much is that? 209. Could I kill you with Hallowed Bolt? 180. See, that's why I thought Divine Ruination was stronger than... I guess... His Divine Ruination is different than hers, because hers is her most damaging attack. <laughs> Suck it! Thanks. Oh, what a ridiculous move. Get right up next to him, and just cut him. Hi! Bye. And then Mirren is just gonna do nothing. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> gently float forward and do nothing. So protect Regine Berets. <laughs> She's completely protected from any and all problems that might be befalling her. Ow, sir. Ow. I have a rebuttal, however. That rebuttal is to murder your friend before he gets a turn and can do the same thing. Nope! 754. Delicious! I'm clearing these guys out now f for reasons that will be made apparent later. Uh, yeah, let's move you forward and you can throw a heal on... Mm, he doesn't need 150, does he? hundred would give it. Ah, we're just, screw it. This is the last battle of the story. Just throw the explosions around. Whatever. Extra healing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> she ages to my healer. She's so smart. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? That was extremely rude, Miss High Seraph. I don't know if Divine Ruination is going to be able to hit him from here. Nope, I didn't think so. That's a very low height change limit thing. 162. Silence. 
Uh, I don't know if that was enough so that Romsa can kill him by hitting him. We're gonna have Mirren turn right around, however, <laughs> and try and jump onto Ultima. You should maybe get away from there, Alma. Just, I mean, just saying. You should maybe get away from there. Crush armor. Uh, yeah, let's kill the guy. Goodbye, last Ultima Demon. And let's move over here. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna have you shout. So that you can get your stats back up. Thank you. Back up. I say that as, as if his stats have dropped. They haven't. Uh, but we're gonna move right over here. Hopefully get to the High Seraph and start being able to do damage to her. Ooh. That's right, you protect him. Um. We will throw an X Potion on to... Yeah, Orlando. She's taking some damage. You go, Orlando. And then we're going to get to a little bit of higher ground, and then we're going to end our turn. I'm very glad that Ultima was kind enough to remove, like, the mast and everything, so that <laughs> I don't have to accidentally select the, the top of the mast. Is that close enough to hit with anything of, of power? Too far for Crush Armor. Well, is Crush Armor an area attack, or is it just the... It's just the square you target. Well, we can Hallowed Bolt her, then. Which is better than nothing, I suppose. 375. And she's done being disabled. <laughs> she is done being disabled. She is teleported next. Mm, okay. That could have been worse. I know Ultima has, like, a bunch of ridiculous power moves, so I don't know why she chose to instead teleport next to Agrius <laughs> and stab her for slightly more than half of her HP, but that's apparently what she decided was the best course of action. And Agrius is like, I'm a m move? Nah, actually don't move, whatever. She can teleport, it doesn't matter where you move. Yeah, it's great. Do it. I love it, Alma. I don't know where you learned this magic, but it's great. We need to try and disable her again. Act. Aim shots. Arm shot. Disable. 60%. Not very good odds. But it worked wonders while it worked. Uh, move over here. I think that's too far for Mirren to jump. It is not. Mirren has a ridiculous jump range. Go for it, Mirren! I'm gonna just keep shouting. Metal! Until I can move so fast. I will catch up to... to... Ultima. I'm suspecting, however, it's going to end up being Orlando who kills her. Thanks! It's the re-raise, really, that is most helpful. Uh, sword play. Crush armor. Just like that. Such damage. Very ow. <laughs> I love it. Mirin, you're being very useful. I am very pleased. Uh, aim shot. Arm shot. Try and disable her again. Ugh! Come on! It's fine. We're fine. Find ruination. Right on her face. Agrius got her! So far. Impossible! This end to meet! I see it now. Too late in you, his blood. My vanquisher in times long past. 
but not so soon shall I accept defeat. Your soul itself shall not escape my wrath. I don't know if I should move Agrius away at this point. <laughs> Agrius is probably like, oh god! Like, that was just like a hot chick with wings, but this is like a gigantic skeleton beast thing. First, let's see if we can disable it. No. How about immobilizing it? We can immobilize it. It has faith boost. It takes more damage from magic, and does more damage with magic, and I think we need to move you away just a little bit so that everybody is not clumped right together like that. Just a feeling. Uh, from where he's standing, he can hit with crush armor just fine. So it's exactly what he's gonna do. Looked painful. Um, we will move Thumbs up right over here. Get a nice flanking going on. Stab our foe. Love Ragnarok. Love it. Uh, it's a little too early for her to jump, because I feel that Ultima, sorry, Ultima at this point probably, is going to be moving soon. And I don't want to waste the jump. Or, <laughs> that's not going to be happening. Uh, move behind her. I think you can still Divine Ruination her without Divine Ruinating your friends. Yep, that is exactly what's going to be happening. 171. Perfect. Is worn off. I like how she chose Ramza as the last one to do that for. Oh! Okie dokie. <laughs> that's fine. That that's fine. She'll be back. She'll be back up. She can take it. Uh sword play pressure on that? No. Yeah. Hello bolt. There we go. Hit you with something. That's, that's congrats, Orlando. You gained that level on the last battle in the game. Uh, let's leg shot you. Let's try, at least. Immobilized! You have been somehow... S your legs have been shot, and somehow that prevents this floating flying creature from teleporting anywhere it wants to go. Somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Um, move you here. That way you can get off a Divine Ruination right in its face. Be angry, she'll get the kill this time. Nope. There's always ROMs so that we can try. there, and try and jump. At the very least, it'll keep you out of harm's way if Ultima wants to try something a, a little bit crazy. Ah, so close. Uh, we're just gonna shout then. Make our turn come up just a teensy bit faster. Not much, not much, just a teensy bit. And, and also, you know, r raise attack power. Like, almost like, oh, god, what happened? <laughs> Run away! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna get you next to him. Her? It. I think it's an it now. And crush armor. Go for the kill, Orlando. You got it. Oh, you didn't get it. Never mind. I thought that was enough damage. 180. Mirren's helping. 
She really is. Dispelled. Oh, rude. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> She's like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, stop that. No, I will have Mustadia throw an ether at Alma if she needs it. Battle might end before then. I think we're probably getting close to Ultima's uh, max. Is the damage limit? Eh, well, we're not. We're gonna do it anyways. Ether, hi Ether. Screw it. Go all the way. Plus fifty. Take it. Cast your spells. Aegis is awesome. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're mobilized. You can't move. I'm gonna jump. Just keep jumping. And a good attack to end it. Right on our enemy. Ah, I was really hoping that would be the kill. Thanks, Alma. I mean, you're probably gonna die, but thanks. Uh, of course, crush armor. 572. That is a ridiculous amount of damage. Don't know why Orlando is capable of such ridiculous amounts of damage, but he is. Don't know how they ever thought that he was at all, at all balanced for this game. <laughs> he is not. There we go. Now we got Ultima. Had I but more power. Yeah, we won. Blessings of the Great Father descend, and guide your body's return to the earth. May the grace of Saint Ajora lead Alma's soul to the eternal shores of paradise. There, she shall find peace. Faram. Faram. She was so young. For all the children of the house to be taken at once... Gods are cruel. And the youngest, Ramza, denied even a burial. Such tragedy. For three centuries, House Baal stood, but no more. Ramza, Alma, forgive me. I'm late in paying my respects. I would have come sooner, were not so many eyes upon me. Delita and Ovilia are wed now. A common-born youth restores peace to the realm, and now, together with a princess, he forges a new kingdom. A tale of heroism not like to be soon forgotten. I believe Delita... Maybe just the man you said. Pure of heart, in the end. When Val Mafra revealed herself for an agent of Moland, he made it appear as though he'd killed her, then let her run. I think he must have caught a glimpse of himself in her. A tool manipulated by Lord, F Lord Falmarv. My father, did... did he die bravely? I'll visit you again. Be at peace.
Are you truly dead? I still cannot believe you are gone after so much. Could it be? Ramza, Alma, wait! They're alive! They're both of them alive! Thank you, Ramza. Okay, there was also a story that should have loaded right there that I will actually put after this because this is just credits. So, you'll know that it's coming. Um, so, we have beaten the main story of the game. There's still a little bit left to do. As far as the main series Final Fantasy Tactics videos, those are done. This is the last episode of those. When I get free time, I will come back to this game and make a bonus video showing off the side quests for the named characters, as well as eventually tackling the deep dungeon. But for now, the main bulk of the game, the story of the game, is done. We have we have beaten it, it has conquered, we have seen the true meaning of history, or the history of Ivalis, and that's about it. I mean, this was one of my favorite games when I was younger, when I was a child. Uh, yeah, probably eight, nine. I'm not sure how old I was when I first got this game. I played it a ton. When I was really young, I was never able to beat it, though, because I was, I was dumb. I was a dumb kid. I was like, I never changed anybody's jobs or, like, I just kept them how they were, and I didn't, like, have them learn abilities, and I was like, why is everything so hard? Why? So, yeah. But I'm going to let these credits play, because these people deserve their credit, I guess. I didn't want to say credits again. For making this awesome game. Um, and then I think that'll be it. So, oh, are they already done? Look at me, I was gonna, like, I'm going to wa wander away and let them play. Phil Lamar. Oh yeah, the people who actually voiced them. I forget because this this player won't actually play the videos for me as I'm recording. <laughs> I've seen them. I know where they're supposed to go. <laughs> it's just frustrating. Okay, so watch these credits. Give these people their due. And if you enjoyed the game, well... If you enjoyed the game, I do suggest at least consider buying it, even if you don't even want to play it, to show your support to Square Enix that Tactics is a good series. It's just something I like to do. So, I'll see you on a sec. Well, I'll see you on a sec. For you, it's actually going to be longer for once.
here's the post games post credits scene I thought I might find you here everyone has been looking for you Today's your birthday, is it not? I brought you- oh, Ovelia? How could you? You use them, and all the others, and someday you'll cast me aside, just as you did him. Did you get your end in all of this, Ramza? I... I got this. The end. To celebrate this momentous occasion, Several new items are now available for purchase at the Poacher's Den. These items will appear in the game store's inventory regardless of whether you start a new game or continue a saved one. Yes, so the game now knows that we've beaten the game, so stuff has been unlocked. And that is what I'm going to be making the bonus videos out of. So, um, I guess that's it. Uh, I'll link the video that didn't load, because I always do, uh, during the credits. So go back and watch that. If you didn't watch it, I don't know why you didn't watch it. Please go watch it. Just go watch it. It'll be in the description, too, the link, because, you know, mobile. So, like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, the whole thing you hear at the end of every YouTube video. I will be incredibly grateful. Just trying to load a video now. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, the next game, of course we have Morrowind. The next game I'll be working on... I'm taking a break from an RPG, and we'll be doing... Me and Kenna will be doing a game together called Titanic... Titanic... Uh, something subtitle? I don't know. It's a point-and-click puzzle-solving mystery game that I've seen played before. It kind of reminds me of, like, Myst in the way it's played, only it has, like, NPCs to interact with, and, like, dialogue, and a story. So, yeah, we'll be doing that. So, look forward to that. That's coming next. And, of course, Morrowind's going to continue on Wednesdays for the foreseeable future. Uh, so, like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you all for watching me play Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm so excited. Okay, bye.